Hello everyone! Today, I'm going to show you how I did my Arduino weather advisor. As you can see, I have a little sensor that enables the Arduino to report the temperature also inside the house. For the rest of the info, I programmed a little server that sends the weather in my location to the Arduino through the serial port. Now, let me show you how I did my structure. I started by making some markings on the acrylic with a permanent pen. I wanted a rectangle with a width of 12 cm and a height of 8 cm. Then I cut both sides slowly because you don't want the saw to escape the line, trust me. The rectangle had some rough edges due to the cutting, so I had to sand them a little bit. With the help of a rasp, they got as smooth as the other edges. To fit the saw blade, I had to drill some holes. After, I cut the inner rectangle inside the boundary lines. The excess can be sanded later. By repeating this process for all the corners, the inner rectangle pops out like this. You can see the borders are way too uneven, so I had to sand them down in order to create a perfect inner rectangle. With some patience and time, it fits perfectly. Unfortunately, my camera battery died while making the stand. For the central part, I used a piece of extruded aluminum you can buy in almost any hardware store. Then, I bent some perforated plates for the feet and attached them to the aluminum block with some screws. For this project, I used a breadboard, some cables, an Arduino, a 4.7K resistor, a digital temperature sensor, more wires, and finally, an LCD to display the information. I started by connecting the power from the Arduino to the breadboard. Before placing the sensor, you should know that this is the ground leg, this is the VCC leg, and this is the data leg. Then, I placed the parts on the breadboard according to the schematic. Connect the data pin from the sensor to the pin number 2 in the Arduino, which I programmed to read the temperature. This is the I2C interface of the screen. It's a simple 4-pin connection which enables you to bypass all the concerns of connecting an LCD. Last but not least, connect the I2C power pins to the breadboard and the data and clock pins to the Arduino default I2C pins, which are A4 and A5, as shown in the schematic. Finally, when I plug the Arduino to the computer, it displays some dots, meaning it's awaiting the server to send some information. But my temperature sensor is already working. You can see the inner temperature rising when I touch it. When I turn on the server, it will fetch the weather information for my location and send it to the Arduino through the serial port. All of the code and schematics are available in the description. Thank you for watching, and if you liked, please subscribe. See you next time!